When I put out a tweet saying, bro, I felt so refreshed not having to sit through AEW, that's not a drama queen tweet. So you called me a drama queen over that tweet, and I tried to know which one. The one when I basically stated I had so much more energy doing castrate in the marks because AEW did not drain me the hour before. That's not a drama queen statement. That's a that's up for debate. Okay. All right. Let's get to the bottom of things. Let's start with the drama queen. You that's call me up for debate. That's you call debate. me a drama queen. There's all kinds of drama on this show all the time. Okay, bro. If I am the drama queen, how come there is no drama with any other show I do with all these other people on the brand? Why are all those shows drama free, but the only show with drama involves you? The only time when there's drama is when you happen to be around. So I want to hear your explanation of wh- why are all the other shows drama free? Because number one, they no, nobody disagrees with you. Okay, that, they're all they're all lap dogs. That's okay, all, no, None of you guys like ever yo. Know. Secondly, they're not going to call you out on being a drama queen because they don't want you to get rid of them. They're they're not going to bring up the stuff that I bring up because I've known you longer than, than most of them. I actually have known you. Vito, I think I, you've no longer, but I've known you longer than Ben Heyman and all the and all those guys. And uh, maybe Stevie, you've known. I know, I know, I know Stevie but, and yeah, but, yeah, but you worked with Stevie. You, you. you knew him longer, but you didn't work with him as long as I worked with you. You know, in TNA and everything and all that. I absolutely know you better okay. than anybody on your brand. Okay, so I think I would be a person since I've known you longer, spent more time with you than any of these people. Okay, okay, I would know when you're being a drama queen. Way more than anybody else would. Okay, so that's that. That just based on experience is because I tell you things that nobody else will tell you because they have not told. They have. They probably don't know you long enough, and are probably not upset seeing you do things that I think are completely out of character for you and embarrassing for you sometimes. And I, I think your behavior sometimes is off-putting. Okay, and I'll tell you that, and I guarantee okay. you, I don't think they will. I don't okay, think they so, will, but I'm the type of I'm complete. I'm the type of guy like I do a show with Cody called Keeping One Hundred. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to stroke your chain if you're doing something I don't like. Then I'll I'll tell you I don't like what you're doing. But the, you don't say what you don't say. I don't like what you're doing. You you call me a drama queen, drama queen. over putting a tweet out about my That's level not just of that. level. Bro, 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 you started being a drama queen when you anybody that does this. I'm sorry, you're a drama queen. Uh-huh. If you're announcing you're leaving Twitter. And you have an announcement and stuff. That's a drama queen because you're drawing attention to the fact that you're doing something like, like you know, you're you're quitting and like you're drawing you're, you're drawing attention. Hey, I'm quitting this. I'm you know, you people are terrible. And I'm, I'm I'm getting off of this platform. So, bro, that's that's a drama queen. And the fact that if you don't think that is okay, then, then we have a, just a very different lens that we look through 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 the world at. You're absolutely drawing attention to yourself in a dramatic way for something that's that's not that you're you're quitting something. If you don't think that's being a drama queen, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I've never said I was quitting Twitch. I've taken maybe Dude, one. I'm talking about Twitter. You absolutely Twitter. quit. You quit Twitter. I, and you. I, I told never, you it's not going to last. And a week later, you were back on. Okay, stop it. I never quit Twitter. Twitch. I said I was taking a break maybe twice in the last seven years. That's what I said. So if you think that's drama, fine, bro. You then think that's drama. Here's the problem. I'm going to tell you the problem. From how many my, tweets did you make about it? Probably one. Here's here's the problem. Here's the problem that I'm having. Well, I'm going to tell you straight out. I'm going to hit you right between the eyes. Okay. The problem I have with you that I don't have with anybody else I do a show with is, bro. It is real simple. It is a lack of respect. Period. End of story. And sometimes I walk away from this show as a shoot and I say, this, this guy's not my friend. For, 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 this, for this guy to say the things that he says about me, to never allow me to get a word in edgewise, to have to win every single argument without listening to another side, 
bro, I don't like that's not a that's not how friends treat you. Bro, I, I can never get a word in edgewise with you on my own show. There's got to come a point where you say something or you call me a drama queen or you bury me for something. There's got to be a point, bro, where you let me re- rebut and you let me answer. Uh, otherwise, every show, I- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end every show feeling the same way. So let me get this right, Okay. You want me to come on the show and you don't want me to disagree with you on things. Because what it sounds like to you is you don't like it when I disagree with you. It's exactly what you're talking about here. If you, you want me to come on the show and just agree with your takes and not question them. Okay. And not because it sounds like th- that's what people don't do on the other shows. Now, okay. okay. And, and, and trust me, because this is what you're saying. Okay. I want right? that. It that, sounds that, like, that, it that, sounds that, like that, you don't want, you, you want me to agree with everything you say. Okay. You don't want, right. you don't want any. Any okay. conflict that comes from a disagreement, can we okay. agree? Is that is that what you're, you're, you're okay? You're now, for here? now, now, let let's stop right there for a second. This is why I need Jeff here, guys. Everybody listening to this show, all the Patreons, you heard me say what my issue was. Now you just heard Glenn come back with something completely different, Jeff, as the moderator. Did anything I said have anything to do with him disagreeing with me? And did anything I say have anything to do with him disagreeing with me? You said your issue is you can't get a word in edgewise. He cuts you off. You can't speak. Right. So how, how do you take from that? Oh, bro, your problem is I dis. How do you take Jeff understood what I said? How do you take from that? It's because I. I don't want you disagreeing with me. How did you take that from what I just said? Because this is exactly what you just said. You said, you said, I don't, bro, you're talking about when you say, I can't get a word ed- ed- edgewise. I do that when you are saying things that do not make any sense and you're not being honest. Like, like I did before when you said, I, you know, this, this whole, people are going to be listening to the show and going like these two shows goes, where's Glenn cutting Vince off? Where's Vince? Not, where's Glenn? Not letting Vince get a word. I've let you talk the whole the whole day. And just just saying, we have disagreements sometimes, and you say things that are not true. And I know you know they're not true, and you try to talk your way out because there's no way you can possibly see that that is being that 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 you are are quite the drama queen. Bro, you look at we we talk about like if it's brought up, everybody agrees with this on every other show I do. Okay, you're very dramatic. There's not. Do you see me tweet like that? I'm leaving Twitter. I'm like, bro, you you do it, okay? And it's like you try to pretend you don't do it. You do do it sometimes. Your whole thing is like, we don't take we don't take things pers we we don't personally attack. You make fun of people. If you asked a group of a hundred people, okay, if I made fun of you every single week, okay, in a joking manner, at some point would you consider that a personal attack if you're doing it every? single week or do you just look at that we're just being funny we're not personally attacking them the perception of other people that the the, the, made the, the jokes are being made out of would be that it is a personal attack and the fact that like you can't see this is very off-putting and very frustrating okay you have pigeon you basically excuse all of your behavior you have an excuse for your behavior all that well we're not personally attacked. when you're doing the things that other people do that you criticize them for you're doing the exact same things Okay, and that's and I, get, I, and, and I would put that up, and I'm not saying okay. that's my that's my take. Can I'd I put go that now? up for, for I'd put that up for debate. See what okay. people think about it. Can I are go now? Are you guilty? Are you? Yeah, but last question: Are you guilty of doing things that you criticize other people for? Okay. Okay. Do, do you think? Do you think you're, you're guilty sometimes of doing the exact same thing you criticize other people? Can for? I, can, I talk, can I can I say something now? I ask a question. Go ahead. No, number one, you you keep I I walked away from Twitter. Two times in seven years. You keep bringing up that tweet over and over and over. That tweet in your mind made me a drama queen. One tweet, so now I'm a drama queen. Okay, all right, bro. If you think that one tweet makes me a drama queen, fine. You said two very different things. You said it yourself. Personally attack, make fun of. Who uh, complete, let, let me finish. If you, those are, if you think those are two completely oh, different things, don't even have this conversation. Okay, I'm going to say it again. 
Anybody can listen to 83 weeks. Anybody can listen to Jim Cornette's show and hear the personal hatred, the absolute hatred towards Vince Russo. Then go sample castrating the marks and you tell me that is the same exact thing because that's what you're saying when Cornette and and, and Eric Bischoff are personally ripping me to shreds weekly bro they're not laughing they're not there's hatred involved castrating the marks we are listening to what these guys are saying just like we played that clip and you laughed and we laugh at their comments you don't see the difference between those two things? I absolutely see the difference between those two things. Number okay. one, number one, this is your argument that you just made. I'm not personally attacking people because I'm not, I, I don't do what Bischoff and, and Cornette do. You literally have just compared what you do to what Cornette and Bischoff do to make your argument, trying to say, that like, okay, yeah, they rip people too. It's not like, okay, no. I was so saying, well, I don't rip people like Bischoff and and and, uh, and Cornette do, like they rip me. I just make fun of them, so it's not a personal attack because it's not what Eric and and and, uh, and Cornette are doing. I'm doing it my own way. I'm making fun. I'm joking, but they do it like serious. So that's that that's bad. What I'm doing is fine. Mine's not a personal attack. Theirs is, even though both of them are personal attacks. They're just different degrees of personal attacks. You're making fun of somebody instead of. You know, like like the, the the hatred, like the you know the promos that Cornette and Bischoff cut, where they cuss and stuff. You know, it's different. But you're doing the exact same thing. You're making fun of people. You're making fun of their contributions. You're making fun of their talent. You're doing you're doing the same thing. They, they do it in a more vitriol way, but you're doing the same thing. You literally try to compare the, the hey, I'm not I'm not Corn I'm not Cornette and and, and Bish, Bischoff. That's my that's my platform. That's me. That's what you just said. Correct. No, what 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 I said. Let let let, let me explain this we to you, you. Another way. Let me explain this to you another way. <laughs> I can the, please. The, the the personal attacks, the Meltzers and the Kellers and all the dirt sheet writers have made about me over the last twenty years is nowhere in comparison to us laughing at Wade Keller saying they screwed up everybody's brackets. You think that's the same? You yeah, think Yeah, well, I'll same. I'll ask them, okay, because what you're doing is is you're 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 basically hijacking the narrative right now. You're saying, okay, this is for my POV, okay, what I do, we're going to define the situation. I would ask you this. If you don't think you're personally attacking these guys, because you because you're just bringing up comments and making fun, why aren't they emailing you back? If it's all in fun, maybe possibly the possibility exists, Vince, that even though you're just using their comments and joking about them, maybe they are taking it personally. There's maybe the possibility that. exists that they are taking it personally, which is why they don't want to have anything to do with you and email and something. Maybe they are taking it personally, Vince. And if you're not even considering the fact that they may be taking it personally, then you are completely misguided in this argument. You're on, absolutely you're, you're smarter misguided. than that, Glenn. I'm absolutely bro, bro. What did I what did I say did right there? These guys benefit nothing in making up with him. They I'm just lose. telling you, you're trying to define what a personal attack is. I would ask you, the people that you are personally attacking, if they feel that this this constantly being made fun of every week is a personal attack, ask them how they feel. Because if they feel they are being personally attacked by you, Vince, then you at some point would have to realize, you know, maybe this is a personal attack if they are taking it that way. Because all I'm doing is making fun of them every single week on cash rating the marks. So now argue your way out of that. They're, they would – it doesn't matter. I want they, Vince to argue his way out of it, Jeff. I don't want What I'm saying it is it's logical. They will not lose the Bash Vince Russo card for their audience. It costs the them point. business. That is the, the that's why they're not emailing him back. Bro, they're not emailing back because they think Vince is probably personal. Is it, they're tired of Vince making fun of them all the time. No. I oh, Really? You know I what? I'm, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna they find out myself. Nothing. I'm gonna find out myself nice because now, because you guys are pretty cool at personally attacking people and castrating them or attacking you know and making what, fun you, of them you, and, you know and explaining it away question. like can it's I, fine. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Do you subscribe to the brand? 
Uh, yes, I do. I think I have a subscription. Yeah, okay. I, do you, yeah. Okay. My you point. Code, but I don't remember. My, my is, point so. is, you're commenting on a show you never even listened to. First of all, I you, do, you, bro, you I never, absolutely. You never I listen ab- to Cast Radio. You I never absolutely to have to seen. I when your shows, I've I've heard probably at least a dozen of them. Where I'll see a clip on YouTube? The old ones be on. There's, 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 there's a show. Has the show changed? You had clips up on YouTube, and I would listen to Cash Radio Marks every now and then and stuff for the on the when when you had them up on the YouTube clips. Right. All right. So I so don't so there's you've already made another fault. So apologize for saying I don't even listen to the show. You I don't absolutely listen to this have listened. You, you listen to clips on this show. Week, but, listen but I've listened to, to the, the show, show before. I've listened to the show before on numerous occasions. So just don't say like I don't say I don't have any context of what I. Bro, the show's the same every week. You're taking the the, the tweets, the the quotes, and stuff, and you're you're talking. You know about what's them. funny? You know what's funny, Jeff? He, he here's what he doesn't understand. He's, oh, I, I can't stand it when you don't tell me. I, I don't oh, understand. Okay, then then, then okay, explain right. explain explain your way out of this because this this is exactly what Jeff said. Okay. The the minute they talk to me, they can no longer play the Vince Russo card. That's what Jeff said. Now, Jeff, don't you find it ironic? Don't you find it ironic, uh, Glenn, that when Bruce Mitchell is no longer on the air, when Bruce Mitchell no longer is on Kelly's show, when Bruce Mitchell can no longer in a public forum talk about what a piece of shit Vince Russo is, don't you find it odd that now Bruce Mitchell interacts with me? Huh? Interesting. Why Why now, Glenn? Why is he interacting with me now? Why didn't he interact with me when he was on the, on, on the show? I said the same things. I said the same things then that I'm saying now. Why is Bruce Mitchell now interacting with me, Glenn? Because of what Jeff just said. There's no Vince Russo card for him to play anymore. So now he can he could talk to me and now Bruce and I can go back to back and forth. Well, so what, what, what's your explanation for that? How a guy didn't talk to me for 20 years, called me every name in the book for 20 years, but now that he no longer has a platform, we can have a conversation with each other like two human beings. Why is me, that, Glenn? Let me ask you a question. No, like answer, the, answer the question. No, I'm, Why I'm, is that? Let me ask you this. What are you talking about? Did Bruce Pritchard just lose, lose his job or something? He's, he doesn't work for the torch anymore. He's not on there anymore. Oh, He's so not Bruce on that Mitchell, show. Type, bro, I thought you said Bruce Pritchard. No, Bruce Mitchell. Know, okay, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Mitchell. Mitchell. Why, why now can Bruce converse with me? Because, because of he what got, Jeff just because, said. No, Bruce Mitchell can converse with you now because he got kicked off of Twitter. Like, like he got deplatformed just like that you did. So he got humbled. And he probably knows like he doesn't have the – bro, he doesn't have a platform anymore. He got, he got like, the guy got canceled. That's, that's what point. changed with Bruce Pritchard. Pritchard, he got, Bruce Mitchell, he got canceled. But that's what we're saying. So he, he, he does talk to me because he doesn't have a platform anymore. So it doesn't, he doesn't have to wait. But but wait, but I don't understand what this has to do with whether or not making fun of somebody is a personal attack or not, whether they take, whether they take it personally. That's the issue. That's the only argument we have here. Is it, Will people take it personally? Okay, and if, if you don't understand this, do you think people will take it personally if you make fun of them every single week? Will they take it personally? Yes or no? It depends it's on the, the individual. So, but does a possibility exist? Right, that they, they, they take it right, right. Okay, so what you're doing right. is by making fun of people, you're risking the, 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 the perception of a personal attack on them. Can we agree on that? That's all I'm saying here. Okay, all right. Okay, fine. Thanks. Okay. Let, 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 me, let, let me just say when somebody when somebody pokes fun at me in a comedic, I've never, wait, I've wait, never wait, see, you interrupted me. You interrupted but, but, but me. You're you're interrupting I've never me. said that, that. That's okay. Okay. Listen to me. Right? Here's what I'm saying to you. When somebody in when somebody makes fun of me in a a uh, 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 comedic way, maybe they blow something out of proportion. This, that, or the other thing. That, that, me personally, that doesn't offend me. Okay, bro. So when I contact them and say, guys, I'm doing a show, it's nothing personal. It's shtick. We're having fun. 
I'd really like to have a conversation with you. I'd really like to have some discussions with you. What's what what would be the adult reason for not getting back to me? Because your your jokes hurt my feelings? Because they don't maybe. <laughs> Bro, have you, let me ask you a question. I'm, and I'm completely different in this than, than anybody else because you know that I, I, nobody has thicker skin than me. Okay? So this is a very weird place for me to speak of because I don't, you know, things don't bother me like they bother other people. Okay? So my point is, is that I'm saying you have to look at a, a, an individual, right? Some people do not like being made fun of. Even if it's funny, if it's comedy, even if they even if they contribute to making fun of others, people do not like being made fun of. Some people will take it very personally if somebody's constantly making fun of them all the time. It's almost a bully tactic, because if, if you're in school and you're picking on a kid and making fun of them every single day, what do you think is going to happen in that situation? At some point, the kid's going to get pissed off and may want to try to punch the bully back in the face. All right, I, I just don't know how you can possibly like not see. That, Isn't that what Vince you, the, is in that the, situation, though? How you guys? You guys? They've make been fun punching of him in the face for they. They've been attacking him for twenty the, years. But, and, so, but 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 Vince does not act like others might. I'm telling you, you guys have to be under. You have to understand that others might not act like you do, like I do. People act differently. My point is, if you're doing a show that's making fun of somebody, okay, over and over and over and over, at some point, those people might. Those people specifically, each individual, the individual is different. Some people have stick skin, but some people don't. And the people that don't are probably going to get upset. Okay, and that's, that's, okay, but, that's but, human but nature. I understand that, and I'm not disagreeing with you. But, but there shouldn't be, you know, there should be a discussion here. That you're you should try, understand you're that. trying to say a personal attack and making fun of are the same Jesus thing. Christ, Vince. It's perception. What is so fucking difficult to understand? If you want to make fun of somebody all the time, in your mind, that's not, that's not a personal attack. But in other people's minds, it absolutely is. And I don't understand why you can't understand that concept. You're not correct. Okay. You're not, for first of all, this is an uh, okay. opinion. All this right. is an opinion. Okay. That a personal attack and, and, and making fun of somebody are two different things. That's an opinion because a lot of people share the, the okay. opinion that that is the same thing. Okay. okay. So, so personally attacking me for 20 years is okay. But me going on a show and laughing at silly comments, that's not okay. By the people that have personally attacked you for 20 years. Yeah, but in your in your example, Jeff, come on, though, Glenn, we, 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 we got to come to a good. Right, but in your example, let, let he's the common one. Sense, Jeff, Jeff, stop. No, in agree. your example, he's the one punching back. He's the one that <sighs> you've got you got the reverse. Let, let, let me make this because I've made this this point like six times, and you guys can't. It's a, you, either you're stupid, okay, or you just you're just arguing for the sake of arguing. Can we agree that making some making <laughs> fun of somebody every week? Some people might take that personally. We agree with that sentence that I just said. Not yeah, if that, that's not, not common if, sense. Not yet. Yeah, not and not if not if. Oh. That's your I answer. That, I agreed with him. I said that's common sense. He gets mad. How about how, how about this, Vince? How about this? How about if I get one person? Let me ask you. Just a one question. person. Let me. Well, ask if I made fun of you every week, would you take it personally? Let me, let me ask you a question. If I wasn't taking punches from these guys, it's not the well, point, Vince. Well, no, listen to me. You're trying to okay you're what you're doing. Let, you're trying you're to claim not, it's not personal. You're not letting me talk. You're not letting me talk. If I wasn't taking attacks from these guys for 20 straight years, you think I'd be doing this show? It's not the point, Vince. Okay. It's got nothing to do with it. What you're doing is now you're trying to, then you changed your whole argument. You're changing the whole argument here. Okay. Now my, you're bringing my, up the my, fact my, that they went time out. This was not my, part of the discussion my, before. My argument was you freaking disrespect me on every show because you never let me speak. That was my argument. That that That's what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about who I'm insulting, who I'm – that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my frustration with you is you have zero respect for me. Because every week we come on here and you never let me get a word in edgewise. That's what we're talking about here, bro. You went off on this tangent with the dirt she rides. I don't give a shit about that. I don't give a shit that they don't respond to me, bro. Because them not respond to me. You know what that tells me? That tells me you're not men. 
I, because I'm I'm able to sit here and take your shit for 20 years and you can't take jokes made about you for two. That tells me you're a child. So I, that's not even what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is at what point do you let me talk on these shows? That's what we're talking about here. What do I have to do to be allowed to speak and rebut and answer things you say? That's that's the question, bro. All you got to do is agree when I make a position that's completely irrefutable and incontrovertible and, and, if, and cannot be argued against. So like when I say, okay, and this, this is where we'll have difficulty. If I say, can you, will you agree that some people that are being made fun of every single week might take that personally? Can we agree on that sentence? And if we can't agree on that sentence, then I'm going to be cutting you off at something because I'm speaking with the person that is not having logic and common sense coming out of their mouth. You okay? already agreed Can with we, that. You took your headset you didn't agree. off. You, you just you just said no, which is why I took my headset off. You, Nobody you, you, said you go, no. No, like, you absolutely did. We'll replay. We'll replay the clip. Who? Who did? Both of you. I said it's common sense. What's common sense? What you said. I agreed with you. It's common sense. Some people would just, take You offense. didn't say that when I, when I just said it before. I said it and you took your headset off in anger. No, Vince said something else. Then. What, do you, what do you guys said? No. You might have said guys? yes. You, Vince, you, you, Jeff, you might have said yes. Vince said no. <laughs> okay, that's why I took my headset off. Okay, maybe, you, maybe you talked over each other at the exact same time, but I heard that. But Vince, let me ask you again. Can you agree that people, other people, not me, not Vince, not Jeff, people other than the three of us, does the possibility exist that people other than us might take it personally if you make fun of them every single week? Yes. Okay, thank you. There okay. Nothing, okay. Nothing, All right. I'm not, okay. not going to cut you off or anything. This okay. We can continue. Fine. Fine. Say, say they do. Say they do, bro. Mm -hmm. Then I contact them and I say, guys, it's shtick. It's a show. It's entertainment. It's show business. I really like to talk. You know, I said that to bro. bro I I, I had to, to wait a minute. I had to address that with Bruce with, with Bruce Mitchell. Did you you had a conversation with Bruce Mitchell? No, we we we've we've DM back and forth, and and yeah. I had to address those things. And I said, Bruce, I'm doing a show. I'm doing an entertainment show. It's not personal. I can't hate people I don't know, Glenn. I don't know Dave Meltzer. I don't know these guys. And that's what I said to Bruce. Bro, I, I don't hate you. I don't know you. This is entertainment. Bruce, we had a conversation. So, I, I you know, at, at the end of the day, bro, like if I'm the one reaching out because I would love to have conversations with these guys. I think it would make great freaking content. I'm not going to die. I'm not denying that. These guys okay, are making money on the table. Wait, you guys wait, are making a fortune. But, you, but, you, but you, you're going to say when they don't contact me back by even saying, no, Vince, I'm not interested. When they yeah. totally ignore it, you don't see them as being the problem? No, well, I see them. I, I, here's what I, I – after, after everything they've said about me, I I'm reach not, out. I'm not going to question that, but I am going to say in there, they're not, Vince, you got to understand, there's no rules here, okay? There's just like what actually, what is being said between the people, and like, it's just, it's just the actual conversations. I'm not green lighting what they're doing. I'm just telling you that based on the way you guys treat them with these shows and stuff, thing, that maybe, and the reason they're not emailing you back is because maybe they they do take this personally and they don't believe to the point that they don't believe that you're trying to be honest and trying to actually open up dialogue with them the pot that possibility absolutely exists because okay. you, both of you guys have okay. made because they because bro because they're, they're coming from the position they know what they're doing they've attacked you personally over the years okay so in their minds your attack back at them is to make fun of them which is why they don't want, you know, the, 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 bro, these guys are pricks. You know, they, they've been burying you all this time. They don't want to have an open discussion with you. They don't want to, they don't want to come to the show and defend their views of the things they said. But I'm just telling you that they, because this is what they are doing and they probably know what they're doing, this is what they think you are doing back to them. Okay. You know? then, why don't, then why don't they say I'm not, that? I'm not, just, bro, I'm not justifying that. Okay, I'm just saying, but, 
Okay. Both of you guys' language has gotten to the point right. where you they tax you personally. You make fun of them. It's like there's there's not a lot okay. of common ground. Okay. Let me ask, let me ask you, you're trying to gain. Let me ask you a question. Then why don't they say that? I'm not why speaking. Don't they, for why them. why don't they mean? say Vince? We think you're full of shit. Why don't they say that? Why 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 nothing? Like I said, Vince, I'm different from them. Okay, all right. I'm not. I'm not. You know, it's like, bro, these whole making fun of stuff is just doesn't compete with me. Where where I get, you know, it's a big deal. Like you know, bro, I just want to be able. You got to let me. You could say whatever you want about me. You got to understand, bro. When when you're calling someone a drama queen, you have to allow that person to defend themselves. Okay. Is that is that asking much, is that asking too much, bro? You have no defense. Why are you even defending yourself? <laughs> then why everybody, isn't everybody, everybody agrees? Then why so isn't like, so if everybody agrees that you're a drama queen? Then then you would who's have to. Who, what do I who, do? Who, who's, everybody, who's everybody we've had on the show. Everybody that, that we bring it up, Joe. There's only there's only Steve, three of us everybody. on the show. Steve, only, yeah, but they, but they only hear your Stevie version Ray. of the events. Stevie, Stevie Ray, I've Stevie not had Ray. one issue with Stevie Ray on our no, show. No, no, but he not knows one. you're a drama queen on Twitter sometimes because they see your tweets. You you keep bringing up one tweet, bro. I don't keep bringing up one tweet. You've had a lot of tweets. I, I tweeted like you that you were, like, bro. I've, I've responded to a lot of your tweets that I think are, are drama queen tweets. Just a fact, bro. Come on, you, you gotta admit. <laughs> uh-huh. I just can't believe you don't think you know you're, you're a drama queen. It's like your shtick. You you get like your your Twitter is all sanctimony sometimes, you know? It's like sh- Like what? What do you what do you troll my Twitter to see what I'm gonna say so you could determine whether or not it's drama? Like is that what you do? Wait, wait a sec. What do you mean troll your Twitter? You, tro- you do troll me, bro. You 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 sit there and you cause you comment I bro, I don't think I've ever comment on a Glenn Gilberti tweet. Bro, I've you, had like three I've there. I've you I've had like they're waiting for me to put something out so you could you could categorize me a drama queen. That's what you do, bro. <laughs> wait a I second. I see it all the time. Mean? Bro, you think I sit there and wait for how many tweets do you do a day? Uh, I don't know. The ones that I'm in, I see that I see. Okay, when I go on time, when I, when I go on my timeline, I'm not spending two hours scrolling down like you catch every tweet. If, if I see the tweet, a tweet by you that has me in it, I retweet it. Okay, our shows. And if I see you do a drama queen tweet, I, 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 I make a comment. But I'm not tro- – bro, I'm, I'm just looking – when your tweets pass my eyes, can you the just explain to me? Break down to me. I want you to break because I want to understand. I want to understand your definition of drama queen. I, I want to because I don't think we have the same definition. Of course break, we don't. Break, of course you don't because 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 it's right. derogatory to the way you act. So okay. obviously you think completely different because you act perfectly down. all the time. Break this down for me so I could get in your head a little bit and I could understand. Break this down for me. I had so much energy tonight doing castrating the marks because I wasn't drained the hour beforehand watching AEW. How? Let me give you, where, let me where's the, you. Wait, wait, where's the drama in that statement? Where's the drama? <laughs> let me give you a perfect example. Well, I, I got the definition of drama queen. But can you answer okay? the question? I just no, gave. No, no, you no, I'm going to answer the question with the question because it's like because what you're ahead. doing is like the, the the definition. A drama queen. Is a person who habitually responds to situations in a melodramatic way. Okay. okay. Right. So I would suggest that you are drained from watching an hour of AEW TV would be a melodramatic response to watching AEW. Would could we can we agree on that? Okay. Can I answer? Jeff, that? I'm going to ask Jeff Go ahead. before you do because I'm asking you. You're you're not going to you're the source of the of the thing here. I'm going to ask outside a third person objective opinion here. Jeff, would you say that that tweet was responding to AEW in a melodramatic way? If he was exaggerating. If he was honest, well, being honest, honest, I don't think so. God almighty, do I have to define melodramatic for you now? Jesus Maybe. Christ. I can, definition. I can sit here and watch an episode of the walking. Example, wait, let, here, wait let, me, let, let, me, let me finish my statement. I started with you you got to let me finish my statement. I can sit here and watch a full hour, 44 minutes, actually, whatever it is, of The Walking Dead. And I can tell you, watching that show for 45 minutes drains me. That's being a drama queen, bro? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. Because, like, just based okay. on, based on the right. syntax okay. of the, based okay. on the syntax of the definitions. 
I take the syntax of the definitions. It absolutely is a bullseye in the drama queen department. So let me read you the two definitions again. A person, a drama queen is a person who habitually spawns the situations in a melodramatic way. Okay? Melodramatic is characteristics of melodrama, especially in being exaggerated, sensationalized, or over emotional. So me saying what I said. Yes. So you saying yeah. that 45 minutes of watching television drained you? Yeah. I would suggest that's exaggerated, sensationalized, <laughs> and over emotional. Well, everybody I, would agree. Jeff, would, would you agree? That's, would you agree that's, that's, that's a good definition? That's all speculation. We don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ, you guys. You guys are too <laughs> I don't much. know. I'm not in Bro, his you, head. I would, uh, you, I know would... I, you know I have you, – you, because you guys are arguing with me and you think I'm the evil guy and I talk over you, when I have W, you refuse to hand it to me. Okay? I'm I... right. I've given you actual, I wish. I've I given wish. you the verb, the definitions I wish. Of, the, of what you do. Listen and you to check me. If he is exaggerating, you, you would be right. Listen, if hold he on. is exaggerating, Listen, you would be right. This would never happen. You know what I wish you would do, Glenn? You know what I wish you would do? This will never happen. I don't expect it to happen. And that's why you don't know. I would love you to hop on Twitch when I am watching Raw from 7.30 to 9 o'clock on Monday. I would I gotta, love I gotta for, watch I would, you I would love for you to see me. Just just observe me for an hour and a half. I'm I would ask love you. That listen, that love listen, you. Listen love you to observe me for an hour and a half watching wrestling. I would love I'm, it. Okay. I'm going to ask your viewers or you're the people that watch you on Twitch. Please do. That are, li- that are listening to this show. Please do. Do you think – what, what show is it that you watch that, that drains you? AEW? Raw for an hour and a half, 7.30 to 9, one hour and a half. Well, ask right. anybody that watches along with me. Ask them. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to ask them, when Vince is watching Raw for that hour and a half or when he's watching The Walking Dead or whatever, is Vince acting exaggerated, sensationalized, and over emotional right. when he's when he's doing it? All right. Or 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 and is I would he... suggest you are, but you're trying to tell me that the, that the reactions are honest. Absolutely. Instead of instead of exaggerated, sensationalized, or over emotional. So that'll be up it's, for debate. It's that'll a lack of de- reaction. It's like lethargic and energy drained. Like he he just sits there. I like, can't wait for the show to end, Glenn. Like that's I, drama. Bro, I, can, I literally don't, don't pretend. I literally can't wait for the show to end. That's don't pretend drama. that when you're on there, you're you're because you can't wait for the show to end, and because you were trying to be entertaining, that you overly exaggerate. I don't. I don't say anything. And, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't say nothing. I don't say anything. You can just look at me. I don't say nothing. All you got to do is look at me. That's all you got to do. Ask you act, me, like, you you act like you're getting drained. How bad are the batter to put a poll out? Those of you that watch Vince, do you think he's acting or he he's really he's exaggerated, sensationalized, or over emotional is the key right. word. Yes. That's the key one. Yep. Over emotional. Because yeah, I, I don't react at all. I just can't wait for it to be over. Yeah. Listen, but Glenn, people think you're you guys are acting when you guys do stuff like this. Yeah, a, lot, that, a lot of people point, say that. Up, a lot of people for, say you're and it's up for people. It's up for debate on whether or not we are. I say I people. think you purposely push his buttons yep. sometimes. I do too. But because he's easy to push because he's a right. drama queen. But there's no argue. way in because hell Vince likes to argue. you guys rehearse this. Vince is like the boxer. That like you know is like going out there with one hand tied behind his back. He probably feel, he still wants to fight. You know he's throwing that lip, but he knows he's outmatched. You know, which is why he responds like this. Of course, he bro. Personally, <laughs> he personally attacks me. Bro, let me break this the news. Been, this whole show has been a personal attack on bro, me. Bro, let me break the news to you. You're going to be outmatched when one person talks all the time and the other person can't. Yes, you're always going to have one harm tied behind your back. And I always do, bro. I always do. You're exactly, I'm agreeing with you. Yes. You didn't because have I, I, I do not get to to talk. I do not get to rebut. So I always have one hand tied behind my back. Yes. Today, one of you had been not allowed to talk or rebut. Uh, uh, well, you, you did now, because I'm making a point that you have to listen to me. But anybody that watches that first show is going to see me trying to talk and you stepping all over me. 
bullshit. And, and I don't know why you don't do that. With, I said, you I said do that, that with Conan. The whole time. You don't do that with Conan. I don't understand that. I don't, unless you don't yeah. respect. If you don't respect me, just you question. I understand what, what, Have what you watched one about. minute of me and Conan. I've listened. How, how many times? I've, a few times. I don't, <laughs> where you get, I don't do this with Conan. You net bro, you you let Conan talk and then you speak. And then when Conan talks, you listen, then you speak. It's bro, it's a matter of respect. But listen, for some reason you don't respect me. And that that that's fine. I'm I'm just trying to understand why. Like I I I what what did I do to not earn your respect? Because I don't agree with you. Is that like what 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 sounds because like it. I, because I put a tweet out there saying that watching AEW exhausts me, so you don't respect me because I'm a drama queen now? I didn't, first of all, I didn't say I didn't respect you. You just you I'm just trying to get you to point out when you do things and you refuse to admit when you do things. You have you always have an excuse, but we everybody sees what you do. Like <laughs> I said, bro, you're you're a drama queen. Everybody sees it. You have an excuse for why for that behavior. You you always have an excuse. Always. For what? You always behavior? have an excuse for everything. For what behavior? Like, part of, like, for, you always have an excuse for like for, for not understanding how making fun of people is it could be viewed as a personal attack. Like you, you have oh, well, this entertainment. You, you have an excuse for that. It's like, come on, Vince. You're making fun of people every single week. Some of them are going to take it personally, and then you have an excuse for that. No, I don't have yeah, any. Well, we do entertainment. We do it. It's like, Vince, just, just admit that you're, p- these people are going to take it personally if you're making fun of them. That's what? what happens when people make fun of people. A lot of people take it personally. They punch people back in the nose sometimes when you're making fun of them constantly. Wow, man. And you're, you, have, you have an excuse for what you're doing. Is instead, it's not like that. If you that's, do. It, bro, if that's the truth, there wouldn't be one comedy. One comic See, there we go. Business. There's another, ex- another how excuse. Would be, how, would there, how would there be a comic in business if, if when they poke fun at people, everybody took it uh, seriously? How would, they, how, would they have, how would they have a job? Because if they poke fun of the exact same people every single week. Perfect example. This is a clip out there of, uh, of Norm McDonald, right? Just Google this. Norm McDonald's shitting on Bill Maher. Bro, the Norm McDonald just shits on Bill Maher all the time. And it's, I would suggest that Bill Maher probably doesn't think that's funny. Well, because, because he's singling uh, out. Yeah, as, yeah, part of his comedy, as part of the comedy... You're singling out people and making fun of them every single bro, week. Bro, Bill Maher shits on everybody every week, bro. I'm aware so of that, Vince, of but I'm telling you that this happens. Own medicine, bro. Jesus Christ. Dude, he's, getting a, just, he's getting a taste of his own medicine. That's not the point, Vince. I'm telling you this happens. I'm not saying the reason is giving excuses. I'm saying this happens. Com- comedians making fun of the same person every single week. Every that, that's the, the guy's gonna take that personally, especially if you're getting buried. I mean, come on, it's like, come on. bro, that's how that's how the professional wrestling business is built. Guys cut promos on each other, they make fun of them constantly, every, and then they fight. You're trying to say it's like, no, what we're doing is like, you know, <laughs> there's no reason to fight. Actually, we should, we should, we should email each other and DM each other. Bro, I look at it. Instead of diff- me making fun I, of I, you. I, I look at it differently than you. I'm sorry. I know it's, you do. It's it's not an excuse. I look at it differently than you. Okay, bro. Because mm-hmm. I don't. You're the one making fun of people. Of course, you're gonna look at it different than me. I'm not the one doing it. I'm looking at you doing it, and I'm saying, yeah, hey, you're making fun of these people every week. Of course, some of them are gonna take it personally. Because you're the one doing it. Of course, you don't see it that way. I'm I outside. Yeah, you're making fun of somebody every week. It's like you don't think they're going to take that personally at some point. I know it's funny, but like you know, it's, they, they might get upset. And that's what you're doing. You go, no, I'm not doing that. And I'm looking at going, well, this is what you're doing. So, of course, yes, I'm going to look at it differently than you because you're the one doing it, not me. Would you agree with that, Jeff? Well, it depends on the person, too. I mean, of you, course it you does. Can make, it, 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 we have right. to go where there's going to be an excuse. No, where you're going to I'm going to tell you my it, it, experience with you. It's different you. because it's different it than everybody the person, else. But I'm aware of that. So you're saying because it's different with everybody else that the possibility does exist that people can take it personally. Of course they do. I've already said, right. agreed with that, right. yes. And I can't get Vincent to admit that. I, I think he did. But what he's saying is he's not doing it personal. They may take it personal, but he's not doing it in his well, opinion, he's doing it, if they're if they're taking it personal, then maybe he's doing it wrong. Can we agree on that? If your if your objective is to not have these people take it personally, then maybe you need to change the tone of what you're what you're doing on that show. But if you don't care that they take it personally, 
which I think that you're trying to pretend that, that, that you, you, you do care that they take, you know, this is weird, then just keep doing it. I've got no problem with the show. I don't care. I'm just, all I'm saying is, is okay. that, that people can get upset. If Bro, here's what I'm you, saying. You know? And I've said this over and over and over and over and over. A problem with people in their category, okay, bro, is they tend to take everything too seriously. They, they, they take professional wrestling seriously, bro. The, 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 the thing screwed up the brackets, okay? They take everything too seriously. So if they are taking my jokes and being offended by my jokes, it's because they're taking it too seriously. Am I going to stop? No, bro. I'm not going to stop because I do it out of entertainment. I don't do it personally. There's no personal attacks. There's no making fun of people. There's laughing whoa. at silly statements. Whoa, 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 whoa. Laughing at make, silly statements. There's no making fun of people? No. Really? Yeah. Yes, there is. Thanks, man. Yeah. See, make come, come on. on, make fun. Of Meltzer people. Magoo. There's nothing wrong with Meltzer making fun of people. Come on, I mean, you do yeah. try oh. to say you don't make fun of people. Well, stop it. my fact is, I've been saying Bro. from one day. <laughs> these let me, let these me guys take everything way Vince. too seriously, and I'm, maybe Vince. they need to work on that. Yeah, but, but I, I'll agree with that. Like I said, I'm 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 not you know green lighting them, not getting back to your DMing you and stuff. I'm, I'm not I'm not agreeing with that. I'm saying these guys are snowflakes. and They take it personally, but there are a lot of snowflakes out there that take things personally and get offended and stuff. And all that. But I will say this. <laughs> you said you're not making jokes. Of the, bro, come on. The Bruce Mitchell painting. I'm not Leonardo da Vinci, bro. That's how I freaking paint. Okay? I'm you painted, not a, you painted on the one with me. You put one a bunch of you I never a bunch claim. of schmucks on my picture. Yes. Okay. I never claim to be a professional painter. That's how I paint, bro. Yeah, but I mean, you made him look like Frankenstein. That. Yeah. Come on. Well, the bolts out of the neck may have been a bit too much. All right, bro. I, ju I, I just want you to let me talk, bro. That's all. Right, all I let you talk all day today.